gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm shocked. What's this? Guy, where am I? I'm in a fairy tale. Or oh, no, I'm in a fantasy movie. A long, long rose with frozen giant fish. I have no words. I have no comments. Just have a look. Am I dreaming? Really? I'm going to explain you everything right now, but let's begin from the beginning. Hello, my dear viewers. This is Marina and uh, channel Made in Ruslan. And welcome to Yakutia, the coldest region of, of the world, not only of Russia. And uh, it took me six and a half hours uh, to get here from Moscow uh, and there was a delay in, in flight for three hours so I was not sleeping the whole night uh, but I'm so happy to be here it was my dream to visit this uh, famous world famous peasant market and let's get started I hope you will join me because it's really gripping it's amazing and it's very very cold my dear viewers, the peasant market in Yakutsk is one of the exotic places of the city and it's a real attraction. Just have a look. At first, when you come here, you think it's just an ordinary market. Uh, and, uh, and then you identify that everything is not as simple as it seems at first glance. Do you know why? People sell us trade in this market in an awful cold on the street. Yes, yes, this is exactly the most important feature and unusual peculiarity of this peasant market. It's located in the open air. You see, sellers stand on the street all day long and sell their goods. And customers are not freezing. Besides me, I asked a woman how how she works outside all day here, and she she answers, you know what? It is warm now. It's only minus forty-four. And a few days ago, it was below 50. And she was still working at 50, minus 50. And she says, yes, it was cold. It was really cold. The name of this wonderful girl is Marina. Like me. Здравствуйте, Marina. Что вы тут такого интересного продаете? Это все местное? Is it all local? Local fish? Uh, sea fish from far east of Russia and uh, is Arctic, да? Vladivostok, Magadan, это вот. Ага, ага, ага. So, uh, this fish uh, came from different uh, parts of uh, Russia, you know? А вам правда не холодно? No, not cold, she says. Oh my god. <laughs> Такая красивая, такая экзотичная. Fish is uh, um, extraordinary and so beautiful. А uh, чир и муксун это ваша рыба, да? Да. А uh, uh, this is local fish. Чир and uh, муксун. I don't know how to translate it into English. And uh, um, my hands are freezing and I can't open the vocabulary. Oh, the most attractive attraction, <laughs> attractive attraction for customers is uh, Nalim. Uh, how many kilos? Yes. 10 kilos, one fish, 10 kilos, and one meter, yes. uh, one, uh, meter, one meter high, yes? Yeah, have a look. <laughs> 
Great, great. I'm shocked. I'm not tired of being shocked every time together with you, my dear viewers. In different regions of Russia, there are different uh, refrigerators. Have a look at this fridge, because it's not a fridge, it's a special equipment uh, to heat um, something, for example, gloves. Да, перчаточки вы здесь греете. And just have a look. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, it's cold, it's hot, hot here, oh, my God. It's minus 10, not minus 54 here. <laughs> Спасибо. You know what, guys? Marina has been working here at this place, at this market in Yakutsk for 15 years already. And she's very happy. А вы все такая счастливая и улыбчивая. She's very happy and smiling. Вам нравится ваша работа, да? She she likes your work very much. It's great, great. I adore Russian people. I tell you every time about it. I have a new subscriber, Marina. <laughs> nice to see you. <sighs> they are so cute. Have a look. <laughs> Yakutians are very, very cute and very, very kind hearted. Спасибо, Марин. До свидания. See you next time. Uh, I don't know what, what to tell. But I'm sure this is not for me and not for you. Rabbits. Not about rabbits, please, guys. Fish is fish, but rabbits are like cats. And they love cats very much. This peasant market in Yakutsk is very, very popular. Uh, local market between um, citizens and you know uh, these fish are brought from rivers um, as uh, Marina told before and from northern seas and from far east seas this is ice catch and shock freezing what does it mean the fish uh, were taken out of the water and immediately froze no special equipment. Very easy way of uh, keeping it uh, fresh. Shock. Freezing. Great. Nelma and Taimeng, these are the names of uh, fish, uh, are impressive. Uh, I think uh, this is Nelma. Yes, really impressive. About one and a half meters high and weighed about 20 kilos and many many tourists come here often to take pictures with this fish maybe i also need a picture with this fish or not i can't stand minus 44 guys for sure for sure i was getting ready to visit this uh, region and you see i have all clothes all warm clothes um, with me, uh, but uh, I'm still uh, I'm still shocked, uh, like those uh, shocked freezing uh, fish. <sighs> and my dear viewers, uh, let's check out the prices. I think you are interested in how much is the fish. I don't know the names of the fish exactly. I will translate it into uh, subtitles. Uh, we translate our videos into 43 languages. So don't forget to switch on the subtitles. And so, Omul. See Omul. 1,000 rubles for one kilo. If you want to know the prices in dollars, uh, so divide all, all uh, prices in rubles by 100, okay? So it's about uh, $10 for kilo. A little bit less. Sure. Very popular and uh, rather expensive fish. 800 rubles per kilo. Cheer for stroganina. Stroganina is a famous uh, dish of Yakutian cuisine. When you eat it uh, raw, just cut it, cut frozen fish and eat it raw. 
with the sauces. Um, and the uh, more expensive cheer, uh, 1,500 rubles. Uh -huh. What else can I show you? Nelma. Nelma. Uh, where is Nelma? Oh, Nelma! <laughs> yes, big Nelma. How much does it cost? This one thousand seven hundred rubles for one kilo of Nelma. А одна рыбка на сколько получается денег? тысяч. So one fish is about uh, eighteen thousand rubles. So uh, divide by one hundred, so it means um, one hundred eighty dollars. If I'm not mistaken, you can correct me, my dear viewers. You know, I like uh, to read the comments uh, with uh, some your uh, corrections. And uh, this is what uh, trout. Trout, 1,300 rubles for one kilo. Of course, fish is not cheap, but fish cannot be cheap. Good fish is expensive food, for sure. Uh. Salmon, 1,600 rubles. Big, very big fish. And again, cheer. Um, I will buy smoked cheer at home for presents for my uh, family and friends. Uh, pellet, uh, I don't know uh, how it's going to be in English, 400 rubles. Kizuch, it, uh, kizuch is like a, a pink salmon or something like this, uh, 600 rubles only, six dollars. So you see prices are different, fish is different, but it looks here uh, like uh, similar, yeah? <laughs> Frozen fish and that's all. But it's different, different taste, different uh, value of uh, each fish, each kind of fish. It's really very interesting for me and for you. Write down, please, please. Because you know all I do, I do for you. And I'm here to film this uh, unknown and uh, exotic uh, northern region especially for you and uh, what, uh, what can you find here berries berries frozen berries you see a raspberry one kilo 650 rubles and the blueberry um, uh, uh, cherry and uh, blackberry Strawberry and different different vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, something like this. Very very balanced diet. And now let's explore this part. So this is meat row, or oh, these are meat rows because I see several of them. Ooh. As for meat, my dear viewers, you can buy the whole body of an animal or part of it. And you know, uh, here uh, in winter it is very easy to store meat uh, and fish on the balcony because any balcony here in Yakutsk in the winter is better than any freezers uh, or fridges. But, uh, as for big blocks, for example, you buy this one. <laughs> How to cut it? How to divide such blocks uh, into pieces? So for this purpose, there are special sewing companies, sewing points in Yakutia. You can come with your with your body, uh, not with your body, with the body of killed animal, <laughs> animal, and uh, specialists uh, will saw it for you. Uh, but uh, who is uh, completely lazy, I know that uh, um, uh, they can ask uh, these companies to visit uh, them at home. 
<laughs> and it's a typical picture uh, that you can see here in this market. <sighs> what can I say? And uh, I wanted to show uh, right now prices for some meat. Some of meat uh, are exotic. For example, deer. Northern deer. Здравствуйте, а сколько стоит у вас оленина? А, 700 рублей for one kilo. А это северный олень, да? Ага. It's typical food for these people, northern deer. Yeah, they eat it. Um, beef, but um, it's typical for European part of uh, Russia and for for all people uh, to eat beef. Uh, it's from 650 till 1,000 rubles for kilo. It depends on on the part. Uh, and for me, this is nonsense i don't know what to say because it's, this is fall and i know that according to the religion of yakuts yakutians um the horse is included into god's pantheon of their religion but i will tell you in another video about uh, the religion of um, uh, yakutians and what i see here fall and horse meat. Uh. And pork. Pork is uh, typical, yeah, for sure. Pilmini, pilmini. <sighs> I asked this uh, wonderful woman about uh, about how they eat horse they say uh, it's normal thing because they live in minus 60 sometimes and uh, this meat the horse meat uh, help uh, helps them to survive and uh, not to not to be ill or something it's um, healthy healthy for this region for people that's why they sell and they eat and they cook Young foal, six month horses. And you see, they eat a lot of uh, fat, uh, uh, pork fat, and horse, fat, uh, horse meat is also with fat, and um, it helps them really to survive in this climate. Спасибо. Спасибо. Oh, my dear viewers, surprises are everywhere. Do you know what's this? Do you think it's fat or something? No, this is frozen milk. You have to buy it and melt it at home and drink like a ordinary milk. 150 rubles for one kilo, not liter, but kilo. Whew. I'm totally gobsmacked. Uh, to say that I'm shocked, it's nothing to say. I'm totally gobsmacked, really, totally, uh, to eat horse meat. It's something strange, but uh, it's true, they do it. And uh, let's, let me get this straight. I chicken out, guys. I'm freezing so much. I have to go inside the market on the way to uh, inside market I, I i met this oh let's go further а как пройти вот этот скрытый рынок налево да right way right way how do they live here with this wonderful fish it's getting colder i think it's
Oh guys, what did I do outside? Have a look what I found here. Ah, the lights are flashing, but I hope you can easily immerse yourself into the world of smoked fish. Yeah, it's very, very attractive market here. First of all, it's warm inside and I'm so happy and I see all that I love. Uh, uh, so I hope uh, it doesn't annoy you. <laughs> wonderful fish uh, you see the prices so cheer uh, smoke cheer uh, 1200 rubles for one kilo and uh, yukula is a type of cooking this is not the name of fish uh, kizuch yukula um, 1800 rubles здравствуйте as for me, I love uh, Yakutian. Yes, this is for YouTube, for my views, uh, the YouTuber. I have a channel uh, made in Ruslan. The channel is made in Russia. This is all made in Ruslan. This is all made in Russia. What is the most delicious? Fat nelma and cheer. Uh, 1800. I don't. I hate this light, guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 um, uh, salty fish. Uh, uh, I would like to try something. This is the best uh, time in my videos when I try something uh, very, very special. Yukalu, yukalu, yes. Cheer. Cheer, cheer. Можно посмотреть, как вы это делаете? Let me see how you do it. Yeah. Fat cheer. This is a present for me because I spent two hours outside. Not two hours, one hour. Yukola. Without fish. It's a little bit dried. It's a little bit dried. And with salt. Mm. Dried yucola is something. I don't know. Nelma. Nelma. Krupna, da. Halodne kapčenje. Eta halodne kapčenje, da. Še se vam dam odrežu kak nemo. Sama žirna je ta Nelma. Sama žirna je ta vot Nelma. Da, da. Da. Can you see it? This is very, very, very fat. <laughs> uh, it's melting in my mouth. Mm. It's not salt. It's not salt. No salt. It's not salt. Can you try this salt? Of course. Mm -hmm. This is salty fish, not smoked. Welcome to Russia, my dear friends. Welcome to Yakutia. And you'll get a chance to uh, to meet this uh, wonderful girl. How are you called? My Lilia. Lilia? I am Marina. Uh, uh, you will meet Lilia. And she she will give you with great pleasure to try fish. Mm. It is so, so gentle taste. <sighs> For sure, my dear viewers, here at this uh, peasant market, you can buy all you need, all you want, um, including vegetables and fruit. Uh, you could have all the need. And at the end of my video, I'd like to show you something extra, very, so special you have never seen before. You know what this is? It's a great delicacy. Fowl with deer, all together. <laughs> they have um, different uh, sausages made from um, from deer and from horse and something. It's typical for this region, as I mentioned before. My dear viewers, I decided 
to film different videos. Not one video about Chikuche, but several videos, because uh, I can't miss even a small detail about uh, this exotic, cold, amazing and unbelievable and unforgettable region of Russia. And here is the link to my best videos about local markets. And I'm going to uh, buy something for dinner.